this is the first um, cinematography test for Professional Institute project. Um, the lighting setup behind you, as I'll show you in a minute, it's a three point lighting system, um, setup. There's bounce light behind me, the lights are angled up to the ceiling and reflect down. Uh, two things to say about this at the moment the lighting setup that the, the light intensity at the moment is um, measured in at 5.6, which is um, a sort of mid level. Um, a mid level for uh, on the Ansel, uh, on the Ansel Adams. Um, base basically, uh, I need to sort of sit. Um, I'm thinking of stick, sticking with this uh, mid level because there's a couple of people um, with different skin tones. There's myself, um, uh, 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 certain someone else with a more paler skin tone, and two people with darker sort of black skin tone. Um, so we've decided to stick in this mid level. Um, hopefully, that hopefully this will be a, a nice test, of, like we we'll see afterwards. It's on the on the camera at the moment. We've pushed it to two stops, two stops towards the lighting conditions, because that's obviously for the um, for how the Black Magic prefers to operate. Um, and that's about it. Um, so what we're going to do now is try and try and take this scene to put more depth in the background. Um, I put. A couple of bits and bobs in the background to try and give it a bit more depth as well. Obviously, like to tackle this issue, we will like try and try and do a shot from a different angle, um, and that's about it. Um, obviously, later later we'll do more tests with different skin tones. I have my housemate Josh sat here and myself. Um, we will record on exactly the same lighting set now and a couple of other setups to see how it goes. Okay. Um, basically, this is the the second light setup. Um, I'm not sure how it's going to look in the tests, but at the moment it's looking a lot better. You should be able to see a lot more depth in the background. Oh wow! Okay, okay, <laughs> okay. Going down from here, I think the shot would have been good. I've just seen on the camera now. Um, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to push the shutter up. So let's try and do that now. That's not quite it. Right, basically, basically, I just I pull it down, and start again, I start again. Okay. Um, oh, right, it's quite a difference. Right, okay. Going from this setup, this setup's a lot nicer at the moment. I try and spin the rip, um, uh, the mirror around for you now, so you can sort of see what lights what lights are where. Um, there was something that I didn't didn't really explain fully um, on, on the last recording was the reason that we want to I'm choosing to record at a sort of mid level is because um, a darker skin tone basically needs one stop more light or perhaps two and paler skins need sort of um, uh, less so basically obviously working from five you've got five for mid level skin tones You've got a four, which is for darker skin complexions, then a three, then a one, that's a lot darker. And then going up again on a six, which is pale, I'd count myself as a medium skin level, and my friend Josh at a four. Uh, perhaps maybe one of the other girls might even push towards a three, but the, re the reason we want to stick on this mid-level is because if you think about it, if we, if we stick to that mid-level mid, uh, range, we've only got to go up a stop. So basically, produce more light in. Uh, what not f stop now? Just one stop of light upwards to match for the pale skin tone, and one, one, uh, one higher or, or lower, however you want to look at it or explain it, for the darker skin co uh, complexion. So, say if, if if we measured the light source that was reading somewhere at a four, that means we'd have to go down five, six, two stops. So of course, it's a lot harder to control. That mid level is better. 
I'll just say a couple of things about at this point. I'm preferring this setup. I've just done gone around with a measurement and an EV. Uh, right here at the moment, I know my head's probably in the shade at the moment. We'll fix that in a second. But um, going from going from the measurements on the light meter, this this point here is uh, ranging from four to four point five. The background should look a lot more, it should have a lot more depth to it now because uh, we basically pushed that, made that one stop darker than everything you can sort of see up to this point here. I imagine my head's probably like in shadow at the moment. Um, but yeah, th this this is the type of um, setup we're looking for. Um, on the last shot, um, obviously we we'll, we'll see how it gets when we go into post-production, but I imagine everything looks too blown out, too flat. There's no depth, it doesn't look interesting. The surroundings aren't exactly that interesting. I'm going to try and do something in the background to draw uh, to draw the audience's eye. Uh, lava lamps are different ornaments we're thinking of uh, to, to do that. Um, but basically, um, this is this is sort of what we're looking for. Behind me is one, one, one stop darker than the foreground, giving it a sort of... Um, sort of 3D look to it, it's not flat like the first image should be, um, you know there's, di there's different perspectives going on and ha how we've done this as I said I've grabbed the mirror now so you can see what's going on but we've got a 300 watt bulb reflecting the light um, at the wall and the bounce light is coming onto um, like a subject or anyone that would be sat here, I'd imagine I'd place the darker actor here because the bounce light would be more stronger uh, at this point than over here I actually measured it and I think it's only it's not a lot because of this this other fill light um, that's, that's situated just over here which is another 300 it does provide a lot of light but because of that the bounce light that's coming off of that wall it gives us an extra like 0 0.3 0 0.3 worth of um, worth of stop um, completely um, lost my trail of thought now uh, Right, yes, yeah, so, yeah. So basically, this this is more more what we're looking for. Um, you know that we've got bounce light for the subject here, so we position the dark raptor over here. So we've got an area where it's more lit on one side than the other. We've got a sort a, a nice fill light that gives gives a rate range of four, which I know we said I said I want to work from a five, but obviously a bit more tweaking or something. This is sort of what we're after. We've got another 650 uh, at the back just behind camera which is also bouncing light straight onto that wall so it just gives everything a little bit more brightness. I'm thinking now the movement from the 650 uh, watt is going to be what we need to, to put this in the, uh, the mid-level um, uh, range and to also um, uh, to keep the depth obviously. If I, I've just tried now to put a, a flow light um, to try and fill everything out. The thing with a, f a flow light is it is a sort of daylight. It's it's sort of replicating daylight, and these la these lanterns are not. I'd have to put daylight correcting on. I like this sort of um, fluorescent. Is it not? No, it's not fluorescent. Uh, like tungsten sort of torch light. It's got um, uh, what is it? It's uh, it's got less of a light temperature. It looks a bit more warm. And I'm think I'm just thinking in terms of the story and how this scene plans out. Um, it wants to be, it wants to almost look cosy, so these lights are sort of ideal for this. Blasting the flow light onto the subjects, you know, one, it's connoting the fact that it's daylight, and I don't think, I don't think the time of the day that we're going to decide to shoot, obviously, these tests and stuff will determine the time of day that is right to shoot at. I don't think it's really going to match or connote the feeling of the room. Um, obviously, we've got a, a window over there and a window behind me there. So the only way you would really use that is to sort of match match the daylight coming through each window, and, and I'm happy I'm happy with this sort of light setup. So give me two seconds to tweak these lamps, and then we'll see if it looks a little bit better. Oh, one actually one second. Let let me get the mirror so you can see what's going on. Okay, I'm hoping I'm hoping you can just about. I'm hoping you can sort of see what's going on. We've got a three, 300 watt shining as the fill light. We've got a 300 watt uh, tungsten light that is uh, bouncing off the wall to provide a little bit more light to the subject. And the 650 at the back is creating bounce light, which hits the room and fills, light, fills the room again. 
Okay, so give me two seconds. I'll see if we can sort this out. This is light intercept 2 take 2. Um, right, I might just explain what I explained in the, in the, in the, first, in the first take just quickly. Uh, right, for one, um, I didn't explain what I meant by the mid-tone um, ideally. So basically what I mean a, a level, um, a, a mid-lone and why it's easier is because you've got um, a darker skin complexion goes, oh, do you know what? No, I can't be bothered. Scrap that. Scrap that. Okay, so take two. Basically, what you what you should see now is um, what what you should what you should see now is the shadows should be less because uh, that that was a problem that we did encounter. So all I've done is position the lamp to the centre. Um, I've also chucked the six fifty watt um, upwards to produce more light. I've brought this lamp a little bit further and more to the centre to get rid of the shadows and to produce more light. I've gone over with the light meter. This middle area um, is 5.6, which keeps at a mid level, like we're saying about because um, it's easy for the skin tones. The 300 watt I've also tweaked, so it is producing more light from this side onto the subject. Um, the back behind us is one stop less. Um, not F stops again, remember just the stops, just one stop less than the foreground, so it'd be a 4.2, I think it is. So one stop less to create more depth. This area is a lot more brighter. I'm hoping, I'm hoping that this will, this will look a lot better. And another thing that I um, sort of realised as well, looking back at the footage, is when I tried to show you with the mirror what's going on, there's a lot of bright light shining. So I try and do this better. If you see me look behind, it's literally because I'm reflecting a mirror off a mirror, so just bear with me. So you can see we've got the sort of fill light there, uh, uh, which is the uh, the main light, that's 300, uh, 300 watt. Just positioned behind it is the 600, which, uh, as I was saying, bounces light up to the top bit there, bounces that light and sort of comes, that, comes down to the seating area. Um, and then see that right, and I've got that on there we go there's the 300 300 lamp reflecting the light that falls onto the sofa and I think that's it um, any other thoughts uh, no not really um, I, 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 I mean this is it we're, we're getting close we're getting closer to the goal now um, we're producing more depth um, we're We've got like a an easy light light setup, um, light, light setup. Um, you know, I'm I'm lit correctly. Uh, the foreground, the foreground's looking nice for the depth. The next test, I suppose, for for this setup would be skin tones, just to see how it looks in post. Uh, and also, as well, going further into it, I suppose it's me um, fiddling around with the lights, uh, maybe connoting a couple of lights, like lava lamps that I suggested last time. Um, to, to basically the, to get style and feeling into the shot at the moment this this is basic this is a basic setup that sort of works it keeps the midline uh, mid mid uh, range uh, level whatever we've got depth in the background the right settings on the camera so um, we'll leave it there thanks we sat sat here now with my housemate Josh um, so hopefully, hopefully this will be um, a, a good setup, a good uh, test uh, in post production. This is this is the light setting up of light setup two. Uh, we haven't changed anything yet. 
Um, so yeah, I hope it looks good in post production and we'll try a different setup. Right, this is lighting setup three. Um, I've altered the lights quite a lot in this in this sense. Um, we've still got the mid ground where me and Josh are set now at a mid a mid level on the answer loudness chart. It's reading at a 5.6. The background behind me is down from a stop. If I'm just going to show you the mirror now, the lighting set. We've changed it. Before we had the 350 coming in at the, as as the fill light and uh, reflected lights coming off of the walls. We've got the 650 now acting as the fill and either side of me and Josh two uh, 300s for the other key lights. Right, had some issues before, but if you can see. 650, 6.50 in front of us and then you've got the 300 watt over here shining downwards and then the other one if it's going to show it over here just next to me. Uh, thoughts about this, um, it's alright, yeah, we st we still got the depth, it's a different it's a different way of a setup, well, obviously we won't know what's going to look until the post but um, it's nice, it still works, we've still got a depth and we've still got uh, a skin tone. So I'm pretty sure Josh from that side, um, his, there's more intensity showing on Josh because of his um, uh, because of his uh, skin tone and there should be less uh, for me on this side. So it's doing, it's doing the three things I'm set out to do. Um, this is like set three again. I've just tweaked it because um, there's something that I haven't really said in the videos. When I've been light reading, it's been the light. A lot of these readings have been the reading that's been given off this white sofa. So of course, with this with the setups, it's still accurate information, but it just means that I'm going to have to bring the lights closer because obviously, reflecting uh, dark colours, darker skin tones, skin tones, hair. It's it doesn't produce as much light as as a as a white. Is a white throw, um, so so yeah, that that's basically it. Um, we've tweaked it a bit now. Uh, Josh is, is measuring at uh, around 5.6, where mine is uh, no 5.6.8, so it's it's just getting on to like uh, the next sort of um, point, uh, which is what which is what we need to do. What I suggested before is um, uh, Josh's skin tone is a uh, stop more than mine. Um, and I can't even remember what I was saying. <laughs> so yeah, basically, um, from this side, um, uh, there is a less uh, le less light intensity. It's not a massive amount, but hopefully it should show up in post. Okay. I lie down yeah, for a minute. <laughs> Ladies, please excuse me, everyone. I'll be back later. <laughs> Sexy time. <laughs> Talking, 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 talking. Hunter. I like Hunter's character. It's cool. Skip to um, skip to the, the, the lockout scene where, is that? where where you and Amanda are speaking. Lockout, lockout that's it. I'll be here. I'm going to be like the second day. 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 I'm going to be
kitchen. Oh, the empty room. We're just about out of diesel, so I've turned off the Jenny. All oh, right, yeah, yeah. At this point as well, it's really because it's night time. It's a bit quieter. You'd be speaking a bit more quieter, and Charlie's asleep in the room as well. So it's almost like it's it's like almost this scene is where Alfie tones down a lot and he starts you start having more of a heart to heart conversation. Yeah, that start bit. The reason why you're up, you're doing the host host with the most sort of thing. Do you know what I mean? In the welcoming and oh, it's okay. Take a walk upstairs. You know what I mean? But this is like you've you've still got that element, but it's just a little bit. It's a little bit slower, a bit more uh, not slower, but a bit quieter. Sort of thing, do you know what I mean? Less less out there and you're still that, but you know what I mean. Okay. We're just about out of diesel, so I've turned off the Jenny. We've got some blankets, but best save them for the uh, best save the rest for breakfast. We'll have to go to the garage tomorrow morning. Is she okay? Yeah. Are you okay? No. Be like, be like this. I don't have to deserve this. Hey, In that case. <laughs> I remember a girl who wouldn't cry even if the whole world was leaning on her. Where's she gone? I'm not sure I think I'm out here. I just think I'm crazy. This is today that's taken out of you, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. That's all thing, 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 thing. That's the same. I'm really confused. Have I lost myself? I have lost myself because I flipped over the page and it goes there. Oh, I don't know. Remember the first yes, day we that, met? That, that's, it's, that's a good bit to get back yeah. on that level. Well, I don't know. Mm. Do you know what I mean? More of a, it's sort of wavy. It's more like, yeah. yeah. Oh, I don't know. That's it. Do you remember the first day we met? I was a physics geek and you were there and you saw of those, uh, oh, no. there, there, there. <laughs> I was a physics geek and you saw of a uh, group and you saw those group of boys off. You sent them packing, my love. They would have surely smashed me, um, smashed me to the curb if you didn't step in. Wait, wait, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I read this with you. Um, yes, I remember. Talk about being her, 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 heroic, letting letting a girl fight your battles. Who who, who was the tall one? <laughs> Gary Barlow. Gary Barlow. That's the one. He had a, he had a crush on me, you know. Yeah. Well, I hope you didn't do anything with him. He wasn't exactly pick of the bunch. I don't know. He has something. He was always so manly. Sca scared, scared you, didn't he? Yes, he did. I'm afraid. Yes, he did. I'm afraid. But then again, so do most things. That's it. Go on, go on. Have another crack at that one. I'm slowly, I'm slowly trying to get in. Yes, he did. I'm afraid, but that's it. Go, go, go back off. Go back. So it's like, yes, he did. I'm afraid. Like thinking. Mm. You're sort of thinking. Uh, yeah, he did. I'm afraid. But then again, so did, so most, did things. most things. Remember about that wavy thing I was saying. Yeah, about. yeah. Because then he'd laugh all that. Yeah, he did. I'm afraid. But then again, so did most things. Ha <laughs> ha. Until I met you. <laughs> Alfie, we've been here before and we tried, remember? It didn't work. Yes, I know. You're very much the fuel pump to my carburetor. God, Alfie. What? Fuel pump? Not exactly the best compliment I've heard before. You're such a geek. What What were those books they were trying to steal off you about anyway? And why didn't you just give them to him? <laughs> You're, are you kidding? That was yeah. David J. Griffiths. Ha, are you kidding? <laughs> <laughs> Are you kidding? That was David J. Griffiths, first edition. Much better, he's there again. You're he would have had again. to rip my arm off before I let him have it. It helps me, um, it helped me build this place actually. The Jenny, the kitchen, shower, and even those, and even the locks on the front door. Wait, what? David J. Griffiths, he wrote the books on quantum mechanics. <laughs> yeah, I got that, but what was that last bit? I said most of this place was built from what I learned from the book. Generator, the kitchens, the lock. Oh, oh, shit. Okay, sound. Run, run, do something, run. I don't know you answered that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know hey, hey, come and get you bastards. Bastards. It's such a good word. I'm dead in the Oh, they put the mezzanine thing there. Secret window. New floor? Yeah, probably. For what? <sighs> oh, well, I Easy. Be a Easy peasy, yeah. eh? I'm 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 fine. Just there'll be more coming. Upstairs. Go bleeding. The are gonna be that side. 
I knit myself. Um, I knit myself on the house. Oh yeah, on the trap. On the trap. Uh, on the trap. That's all. I, I knit myself on the trap. Is all. It's fine, really. Are you okay? Uh, yeah. Nods. Whatever. Charlie. Yeah, Charlie, yeah. are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Uh, where's that guy? Right, Amanda, look for something we can use to fight these creatures. Prefer uh, preferably blunt. These things, whatever they, um, these things, whatever they are, look like they're carrying some sort of infection. There we go. I'm not going to we need to move it. Yeah. All we need to do is get to the car. Oh, five, six, seven, eight. Shit, sorry. Um, sorry, I'm just going from there. They aren't strong, although they're not as easily stopped. Uh, I put a knife. Uh, I put a kitchen knife through one of them, and it didn't seem to do much good. It just seems to get away. Um, That's the angle. Go back to the thing. They aren't strong, although they. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. They aren't strong. Stop. Although da 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 da. They aren't strong, although they're not easily stopped. I put a knife through one of them, and it didn't seem to do much good. Just get them away from you and you should be fine. Oh, you're going to separate that. Yeah. Oh, now, if you get into trouble, they seem to have a weak spot on the neck. Yeah. And we all did different sounds. And we slowly built it. For no reason whatsoever. Yeah. Charlie, no, no. Very relevant story. Okay, yeah. And then he dies. And then he dies. Oh, yeah. Josh is really, oh, yeah. Josh is really gutted about um, your character. Like, yeah. I, I gave it to him to read last night. Um, right. Um, it's cool. I'll read through it some more. Just go again. Okay. So, okay, so just a minute. Um, uh, what is it? Yeah, just a minute. Alfie. Right, okay. Cut back to the doors. Walking through the door. Hi. Amanda, Charlie, girls, come in, come in. Now, I was just in the middle of making a tambula. Can I get either of you a cup of tea or coffee, please? You got anything stronger? I said, Charlie, you have to excuse my sister, she's not going to You will be to be dragged up to this place. There's nothing to do here. Amanda, why have you come here? So dry. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Just, just on that last bit, it's, there's nothing to do here, Amanda. Why, why have you, um, why have you come here? There should be a comma there, actually, or, some, or something like that. So it's, why have you come here? It's so dry. Okay, okay so just, just try it again. Why have you come here? It's so dry. That's it. That's it. Do you know what I mean? It's more drama into it, sort of thing, than that. Okay, I think you'll find Mountain Man's charm, so you just need to know where to go and which people to see. Now, if it's a bit of a party you're looking for, you've come to the right place. Here, try this. Yeah, right. <laughs> Brilliant. Oh, wow, that's amazing. Ugh. Isn't it just? Um, that's really good. Where did you learn to cook like that? It's an old Moroccan recipe I picked up on my travels. <laughs> you've been to Morocco? That's it. You've been to Morocco? So at this point, yeah. it, like, if you see Charlie's character, it's not really in tune with the whole thing. She's yeah. just come here, this guy's wearing like ridiculous, like weird clothing, do you know what I mean, out there. Yeah. But as soon, as soon as he says he's been to Morocco, that sort of gets you excited. You go, you've been to Morocco? Yeah. I mean. Okay, so it's an old Moroccan recipe I picked up on my travels. You've been to Morocco? Alfie's been all over the world, babe. You're really going to be pleased staying here for a couple of days. Um, I don't want to leave her on her own right now. Usually I would have let her stay at mine. Um, da -da 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 -da. So you're not at work today. No, the film director has been a bit suggestive. I don't know what to do, but I think I won't be going back again. How would I fuck him? I said just, I would have fucked him like that. <laughs> Oh, sorry. Oh. <laughs> I would have fucked him. That's it. Much better. Charlie. What? It's well fit. Could have been a bad incentive. That's it. Couldn't have been a bad incentive. Could have been a bad incentive. Well, I think if you're in Amanda's shoes, you would have done the same. Film directors can be a little robust when reaching a state of the man. Yeah, how would I fucked him? Brilliant. This is good. This is good. Well, I tell you what, I'm just going to... We'll, we'll stop there now for a second because I do I do need to mention something. Um, you blasted through the script fine. I, I don't see like if, um, how you're reading it's absolutely fine. Like I can't really fault you on many bits. 
Um, the only thing I need to need to speak to you about, I didn't realise this when we first spoke, is is your accent. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, no, it's, I mean, your accent, you've got a nice accent, okay, <laughs> but it's just, um, what is it, the character who's playing your big sister, Amanda, she's from Luton, so she's got quite a heavy, a heavy London accent, if you know what I mean, so, um, how, how, how are you with accents, and is this going to be too much asking, asking you to do, do an accent as well as playing a character? Yeah, because I've never really done an accent before. Because I started just suddenly taking an accent class, actually. Yeah. <laughs> no, I mean, but I've never really done an accent before. Do you want to have a stab at a Newton accent? It'll cut me sort of. I've yeah. got no idea what that sounds like. It's like, alright, Pat, where is it going? Do you know what I mean? Um, see, see, see where, where are you from? Because what is it? The other, the other woman, the other girl, well, yeah, woman that's playing Amanda's character, she's got like mixed Caribbean. Mm -hmm. So, um, where, where is it you come from? She, she might be able to tweak her accent, so you're I'm both from Haiti. 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 Literally, I um, speak French. My last man language. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, where's, where is Haiti? Is it In South America. South America? Yeah. yeah. It's sort of, is it, what, so is it, is it French? French, accent? yeah. We speak two languages there. One is Creole and one of them is French. One of them's what? Let me write this down actually because um, it might be important for me to know this. Okay. I, I, okay, so it's it's Creole, C R E O L E. C R E O L A. L A. L E. L E. Okay. And then French. French. Yeah. So it's Creole, French. Cause it, yeah, I can I can sort of see where the French is now that you've said it. I would have not guessed that. That's probably because of the mix, isn't it? Yeah. Accents. Is there a different language you speak then? No, those two in English. Oh right. Oh, oh sorry. That, that's a, that is a language. Yeah, that is a language. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't know. I didn't know that. Um, right. Okay. I'm gonna have to do some big research then on this one. Um, so yeah. Uh, so yeah, that is the thing. Obviously, like when I spoke to, you, I didn't, I didn't notice you actually the strong guitar. I spoke to you two or three times. But as it is, you're blasting through the script really well. It's very natural with you. You've got it, and you've got the sort of, you've got it. To be honest, I think you could do this character hands down. But this accent thing is gonna, is gonna cause problems at some point. Um, so, I'm not sure. I'm not sure how we're going to tackle it. I'm not sure how we're going to tackle it. it, it these, these accent clashes that you're taking, what 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 are they like? What are they? Uh, basically, just work on your voice and stuff like how to do your voice differently. Like if you're in the situation, how would you use your voice and stuff like that. Oh, so it's, is it not accents then? It's, it's how no, you how you speak. Yeah, like, it's like okay. so. If, like from the way you speak, then that will teach you how to do different accents. It's definitely like, working. Yeah. Because you had the pauses, you had the right, the right um, emotion coming through your voice when you were saying the words. Um, right, I don't, I don't spot. Could you, could you speak to your um, accent tutor to maybe, maybe suggest to it, but to see if you can do? Is it, is it an accent thing? Do you, do you do accents, or is it literally just that? A speaking thing, yeah, but like coming to accent as well. You do come to accent. Do you think, do you think you could ask her? I mean, I mean, f first of all, is this, too, is this asking too much? Of you? Oh no, no, it's fine. Because yeah. it, it does, it obviously like you can imagine, can't you? If we've got one character who's got a heavy Luton accent and one character that's got French, you've read your character portfolio. You've both grown up together, so yeah. your accents should be on, on par and the same. I'm just thinking when, when you watch the film, it's not going to be believable if you both sound completely different. But let let me speak to this other actress to see if she can tweak it more more to sort of French style. Um, and I, I, if, if it's not too much to ask, of you, could, could you see if you can get? It's Luton that she's from. You know, you know, have you heard of Luton before? Yeah. It, that, that's where she's from. But to be honest, if you if you can master some sort of London accent or something like that, mm -hmm. it's not too much to ask. Have, have an ask, yeah. um, and and then get back to us basically. Um, but yeah, to, yeah. To be honest, um, maybe we should just do another scene quickly because you are blasting through this very good, as I said. So. Just a bit of a shame now, I feel a bit... I wish she sounded French now. <laughs> right, okay, so is it legal? Um... Okay, we'll just go this bit, because you've got a line here. We'll, we'll just skip until we get to bits of yours. So if I go past it, just don't... Okay. I'll read the line before it, basically. 
uh, yeah, right on. <coughs> if there wasn't, uh, if there wasn't any borders, then how 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 would you know uh, know where you were? Oh, if you were on holiday. Or, or if you're on. Oh, sorry, oh, sorry. I, I, sorry. Uh, right. So, so, you see, if it was up to me, I wouldn't make borders, countries, or con uh, con uh, countries or continents. My great countries, guys. I raise a lot of people and fight as much as ever as a whole. Yeah, right on. Uh, if there wasn't any borders, then how would you know where you were? Or if you were on holiday. That's it. So it's um, so it's it's continuing after what he's just said. Yeah. So it's he's he's just said. How would you know where you were? And then you say, or if you were on holiday. Do you know what I mean? You're sort of continuing after his sentence. So it's or if you were on holiday. Or if you're on holiday. Or if you're on holiday. That's it. Okay. Um, Right, yeah. Pop said that. That's it. So, so your big sister just coming into the room now. I'm in now. Everyone, I want you to meet my big sister. Hi guys. Hi. Where have you been? Where have you been? Oh, it's like a rainbow in here. Oh, I had to check on that outfit. How is he? He's gone. So are you with us now? Yes, I am now, Doc. And I found where we keep the homebrew. Um, where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Charlie, Charlie, Charlie. Find the whiskey. That's it. Zombie. I don't like this. That's it. More, more scared on this bit now. So it's um, you, you've literally just found out what's happened. So it's like zombies. I don't like this sort of thing. <laughs> zombies. I don't like this. Brilliant. Right, okay. Yeah, you might be right. It's not so bad. It kind of reminds me when we were little. What do you mean? Um, oh, right, okay. So, yeah. Uh, right, basically, in this scene, you're both, you're both sort of huddled up together. It's called lock up because you've literally just imagine it. You've just boarded up the house and now you're sat in this dark house. It's very quiet. You're almost sort of, you're huddled um, uh, together. Sort of, and at this stage, I think you're sat, you're sort of lying in your big sister's lap. Mm -hmm. And she's almost like telling the story, like, a, like, like sort of how you were to a child. Do you know what okay. I mean? So, like, on this bit, I'd suggest, like, just try and get that sort of child element. Like, do you know what I mean? To, to bring that sort of young sister feeling through. Um, so, yeah, you might be right. It's not so bad. Kind of reminds me when we were little. That's so much better. Uh, well, do you remember when mum used to lock us out of the house? You mean when we slept in the garage? Said, slow it down, man. Slow it down. So, well, do you remember when mum used to lock us up in the house? You mean when we slept in the garage? That's it. Yeah. I don't know. I don't really remember it. I'll skip this because that's quite a healthy thing. Um, when is she going to come back? And I said... How is that going well right now? Yeah, so at, at this point, um, so I, I'm not going to bother reading the crab out, but she's telling you a story. So at this point, when, when it's been told to you, you're sort of, you're glaring forward and you're remembering, you're bringing up a memory. So, so when these words come out of your mouth, the mummy's not well, but you're like quoting what she says, but you're doing it from a memory. So okay. it's like you're sort of in that thought coming, mummy's not well right now, do you know what I mean, sort of thing. So, uh, when is she coming back? And I said... Yeah. Um, Mommy's not very well right now. I said, a little bit slower. Mommy's not very well right now. Mommy's not... J just like, quiet, quiet, like, almost yeah. like... Mommy's not very well right now. Okay, okay. Um, Alright, we, we go we go back to that bit. Um, the, 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 yeah, as you know, that's what I just said. Now. So it's almost like it's a sad scene. It's a sad scene because it's you, you, it's bringing back a lot of emotions and stuff, and you're upset. Um, but it's like you're almost sort of like you're sort of like escaping the body from on your side. Well, it's not well, very well right now. Do you know what I mean? It's sort of monotone, really sort of lots, almost lifeless. How you say? So, um, and I said, I think I'll do it. I'll do it. Okay, brilliant. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Really impressed with that. Um, I'll keep rolling for a second. Um, 
Yeah, so I'm, I'm really impressed with that. I'm impressed. That you've got you've got a nice natural sort of element to how you how you read the script. And the fact, the fact is, we just sat in here, and you can do that just sat in here is really good. Um, right. So yeah. So can we just can we just leave it there? I want I want to get I want to get a day where there's about three four actors together. Okay, I can do it in the next week, about, apart from Wednesday because I'm in London for that day. Okay, so yeah. what 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 day what day is going to be good for you next week? Um, Monday can be good actually because we know actually we know in college on Monday and um, Tuesday we're in college and Thursday and Friday and the other day are good for me apart from Wednesday. Any other day apart from Wednesday? Yeah. Okay, that's right. Um, all, all I'd say is on Monday and Tuesday I am in class, so I'd have to be on the lunch time. Um, I could probably ask my tutor if I can go for a lunch break early. On a Monday is good for me because I can sort of go go where I choose. Yeah. Usually I'd let us stay with me, but... Uh, so no more about it. Um... Sorry. So no more, my home is a welcome one. Charlie, there's a widescreen in the front room. Plenty of hot water and internet upstairs making herself at home. She's not at work today. No, the film director's been a bit suggestive. I don't know what to do, but... I don't think we're going back again. Yeah, what the fuck then? Charlie! What? Is well fit? Couldn't have been a bad instantive. Well, I think if you were in Amanda's shoes, you would have done the same. Field directors can be a little verbose, verbose, when reaching a state of command. Yeah, I will have fucked them. Charlie's been accepted to DMU. Have you? How brilliant. What is it you're studying? Theatre. Aha, so there will be two performers in the family. Great. That's right. Just her. Party hat. Right, I've got to go out now. Charlie, you'll be okay, won't you? Oh, I miss Um Yeah, I'll be, I'm sure I'll be. Oh, yes, Mum, I'm sure I'll be alright. Oh, wait, can you give me some bags? Okay, so we have Kelly Juvelie who plays Hope, and we have Katrina Blackett, and she plays Amanda. So. Oh, and this, is, this is Saskia, and she plays Charlie. So, how have you felt about joining the cast of Survive? Really good. It's hard work. <laughs> okay. Um, getting into the zone of the characters is challenging because they're characters we don't normally play. Yeah. Sorry. Carry okay. On. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and Katrina, how does it feel playing Amanda? Uh, Amanda, she's. Um, I think she's quite complex in the sense of I think she's grown before her time. Yeah. So like I'm just trying to get in the zone of being more wise and older for can let me start again because I was about to say something. No, just okay. keep going. Just keep going. Okay, um so I'm just trying to get in the zone of a mature motherly character. So I've been researching and similarities is like Ronnie and uh Roxy Mitchell. Yeah. Because Ronnie is very, ah, she's deep and she's got a darker side to her, well, but she's yeah. still very motherly and she's took the no, mother role the of, of to her sister. So I've been just like researching that really. That. And I've had to watch Train Spot and see search, what like heroin search, addicts are like, which is yeah, that's why I come up. With it's really hard to act <laughs> to act out. Mm. Obviously, like just from the top of your head, you have to see, especially, especially if obviously it's not method acting, so you haven't, might not necessarily have been through an experience similar or anything like that before, see, or know anyone that's been through that experience. And obviously, there needs to be an element of truth within acting. 
So mm. I've had to find it in other aspects. So obviously, like the director Farley has told me, you know, like trying to look empty and like sort of lost and cold. So yeah, trying to get that numbness. And what's been your favourite moment on set so far? Um, I think the house party scene. <laughs> Definitely the house party scene. <laughs> So, Saskia, who plays Charlie, how have you felt about the character? Good! It's, she doesn't like me at all. Uh -huh. So that's quite challenging to be mean and be like a boy kind of sort of way, but I'm finding it really good and I'm liking it. Okay, and how have you uh, found the direction from Mr. Mystery? I hate him so much. I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of the characters like sometimes when I go wrong and you'll tell me what's been done wrong and then tell me what to do which is really good. Fabulous. Okay. Hi. Hey there. I'm Joshua Williams. <laughs> so, <laughs> what's your character? I play James Dunsley, the no. third. <laughs> okay. right, I'm a uh, rich and landowner living in Melton. Um, yeah, that's me. That's me, really. Yeah. Okay. What did you do to improve your character? Um, you know, I really try. I really try to get into the brain of James. Like, I really try to like work out where he's coming from, what his story is. I really try to think about that. Like. What's <laughs> going <laughs> on? What is playing? It's my phone ringing. So oh. this is why you shouldn't have phones on set. You know what I mean? It, it could. Interrupt someone's character bio. So let's have a word right now with uh, Farley Mystery, a uh, fabulous writer and director who is yeah. messing with the camera. <laughs> so, how did you come up with the idea for Survive? Um, I don't know, it really came sort of my interest, I suppose. Um, obviously, uh, I like the sort of hard times, the hardships that people have to go through in survival. Survival for me, I suppose, was an interesting one because um, it sort of puts people in an element that's not sort of themselves, like a sort of primal fashion, and it's it's fr it's frowned on when obviously people act in primal fashions. And I don't know, it just seemed interesting. And filmically, there's so much to do with it. You've got like zombie thrillers and stuff, which is what we're doing. Um, and yeah, that's basically it. It's just uh, it was just an interest that I wanted to explore. Okay, so um, a little birdie told me that you have taken up one of the characters. Um, who is the character and what's his story? Right, I'm taking up the character of Hunter because um, there's not too much uh, acting skill that I've got to do with it, so uh, I thought I'd fill in for that one. We was having problems with casting also, which I think was the main reason for doing this. But um, hopefully, hopefully, I'm going to get some experience and realise what it is you guys go through by doing this, so we'll see how it goes. Yeah, see how it goes. Fabulous. <laughs> <laughs>